We are at Lockridge Ranch in Anderson County. I'm Ed Cox, Jr. I have a passion for East Texas. I grew up hunting and fishing and, and doing all kinds of things in the outdoors, and that's, I just had a passion for it, and still do. Lockridge covers more than 15,000 acres in the post oak savanna of East Texas. It's something that I just uh, grew to love and put it above basically everything except my family. Ed lives on the ranch with his wife, Kathy, and their children. I couldn't think of anywhere else better to live than here. <laughs> Ed's daughter, Dot, helps run the cattle. Come on, hey, come on. But Lockridge isn't your typical cattle ranch. There they go. While they do graze cows, much of the property has a different purpose. These hardwood bottomlands were at one time cattle pasture. This was all coastal Bermuda at one time. We left some place for the cattle, and then we went in and planted thousands of hardwoods. We planted probably 100 acres of them. Ed, this, this burn came out perfect. Really classic uh, return to post oak savanna. What we're looking at here is, is the remnants of, of that ecosystem that once existed over 50 million acres of, of North America. It's an endangered habitat now. This is a good browse species right here. It's these asters and forbs and poison ivy. I didn't know they ate that. Oh yeah, anything that grows on a vine, just about a deer will eat. What's so encouraging about Lockridge is this is one of the few places where we're growing it back. You can sure tell the difference with a burn. It just does wonders. When burning isn't an option, they bring in the mulcher. This is our instant gratification tool. <laughs> this gets us where we want to be today. <laughs> to try and burn this enough to remove this size of fuel is really tricky. So we're trying to get rid of the yopon, the cedars. Things are using up a lot of nutrients and water that we really don't need. In the future, we can just run a fire through here on a maintenance basis and keep this in a more natural state. I'm a fish guy. We have to take about 10 to 12 pounds the acre out every year. This lake, for instance, we'll have to take 1,000 pounds out of here this year. They remove the fish using an electro-fishing boat. The electricity from the cables temporarily stuns the fish and allows them to be captured and transported to other lakes. We basically take the little fish out and put the big fish back. It keeps your lake from getting overpopulated. One right there. Look at here. What we got here. The Cox family and their staff work hard throughout the year maintaining the marshes, planting pea fields for wildlife, and keeping track of everything. We are getting our wildlife census, getting a count on how many bucks and does we have, uh, how many deer per acre. A surprising result of the work on the ranch is the rise of a healthy gator population. When this water's out like this, where the creeks are high, you get the gators spreading all over the whole bottom, really. Looking for fish, looking for something to eat. And they're doing all they can to keep the hog problem in check. These are the worst thing that we have in all of Texas. They overpopulate and they'll just destroy your habitat. It's hard to catch them, but they get smart. This puts us up to 400 in the last month. Between five and 600 a year keeps us about even. It's not just our problem, it's a problem all over the state. Lockridge is also taking part in the wild turkey restoration efforts in East Texas. We're starting to see a little bit of success, we're hopeful. It's unbelievable. This is the final missing piece, I feel like, in East Texas. We're trying to preserve something that there's not much of anymore and make it better. 
generations change and people's ideals change and, and you know, trying to keep this together, and my kids will too, and my granddaughter. So that's a great thing, makes me feel good. A very significant part of our, our happiness in life revolves around what I call the magic kingdom. We're in the magic kingdom. You may think of Disneyland, but I want my children to grow up and have an experience in this magic kingdom, which was present here before we got here. <laughs>